here with the top 100 set startups from our last award round and uh, it's really great to be here. We have lots of talks and lots of negotiations and some deals even already. I think it's been fascinating coming to Abu Dhabi, but it's also opened my eyes to uh, how many markets are future opportunities for us. So we see our businesses testing, trialling and being at the very forefront of business model innovation in this transition that we're going through to renewable energy. Now that has applicability everywhere. I was moderating the SET Award in Berlin in April and it's great to see how many of the companies have grown since then in only a few months. Uh, I see that they have professionalized a lot, so some of them have raised money. So I think this is a very good event to connect the startups and the innovation with very large global utilities. It's really exciting to see all the uh, emulsion that's happening in the Middle East around sustainability. I think the focus has really shifted in the past years and we are realizing that there's a much, that, that we need to find a solution away from uh, traditional oil energy. Yeah, we, we've had conversations with uh, ministries from different countries here and there definitely is a strong interest for innovative solutions. So I think one of the big things the SET100 does is it brings together a lot of startups that can look at each other and draw some um, inspiration from each other. So there's a lot of creativity within the SET100 class and all the companies come together, draw creativity, um, draw um, drive, um, encouragement from the other startups, look at how they are solving different problems in different markets in different ways and that's a big part of the SET100. The learnings that come within the SET100 is even more important than whatever it is that Abu Dhabi could bring.